Only play <laughs> with friends. Tomar has a big, warm, loving lap, and it shouldn't <sighs> be used for cold, uncaring machines, Chris. Okay, whatever, Lyle. I don't care, <laughs> I man. I like that explanation. Yeah, you're uh, welcome. Let's just say this game looks scary. Yeah, okay, turn it off. Just turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Make my chest hurt with regret. This is good. Fought your punishment and This woman's a really good Catholic. Oh, she got herself with the guy. Was that Jesus with a penis? Yeah. This is so cool. So I love this weird old pixel art. A divine miracle turned her Jesus statue into a Jesus sword. Hey guys who made this game, thanks for making something that looks new. Thanks. Yeah. This is your character, El Guy. You're pulling a sword out of her crack. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could have shown some visuals or something. I don't know. They're gonna eventually. I promise you this. Okay. That's just me being it. Okay. There. There's one. Look. Aww. You're a little man, all asleep. You're in a big pile of you. Who are you calling, Pinhead? <laughs> He's a very pointy man with a pointy plan. Is this how they like pre-explain the reincarnation mechanic? Uh, I don't know. I I, I honestly have not gotten to the explanation for this room yet. Okay. I think it's just kind of funny. Hey, this is. Hey, this is ripping. Hey, <laughs> what's wrong, Chris? You seem a little perturbed. This reminds me of. Uh, uh, it's pretty good actually. <laughs> this room must smell horrible. Who? The guy? Or all these- these other guys? I think all these other guys, mainly. Whoa! Yeah, just throws it fucking right into it. Cool. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I remember, I- I've played this much of the game before, and I just cheesed this guy, but I took a lot of hits. Yeah. I think I beat him the first time I went up against him, so if I- if I don't this time, I've officially done it, like, worse. And I'm... Yeah, you've already got him down to half. Yeah, I don't think I'll have a problem. Ow. Wow, you're pretty good, Lyle. I... Yeah, this is... I mean, it's the first dude. He's, I'm just trying to suck your ass a little bit. That's I mean, all. if you wanted to do that, you could have just asked. I'll try anything once. Uh, Requiem Aeternam, just as you always say when you suck an ass. <laughs> Did that look a little rotoscope to you, or maybe just like drawn over a 3D model? I'm just saying. I don't know, man. It looks kind of like uh, another world. Oh yeah, but way better. Kind of does. Look, he did the sanest thing he could have possibly done. Filled his helmet <laughs> up with the monster's blood and then stuffed it on his head. He's gonna drown if he keeps doing that. <laughs> Do wait, wait, go over and uh, push down. Oh, you want me to look at his ween? Hey, thank you. Okay, you can go now. <laughs> you may go now. This guy's gonna read us a, a scroll. Regretful be the heart, penitent one. By the way, I can kind of like skip through this if you want me to do that as opposed to like waiting for him to say all this shit. I don't think I'm gonna comprehend the single thing they're talking about anyway. Yeah, no, it it, it it does kind of the Dark Souls thing where every character just kind of says, A boogity woogity, the uh, ancient ones and gurt gonk and binkle. Lyle, please don't <laughs> shit talk Dark Souls like that. <laughs> it's what they say. They don't say oogity boogity. <laughs> they, yeah, they say wigwams and squilly squams. <laughs> squilly squams. Down in Susran, where the whizzles and the wumpets. <laughs> Susran. <laughs> Susran does sound like a real That's Dark Lord Souls Ron. place. Yeah. Uh, Susran. <laughs> yeah, he's just telling you you gotta you gotta fuck with some shit before a big door will open or I'll get mad. You said you gotta ring two two bells. Yeah, basically. Actually, I think they are they bells in this. I forget I what they are. I don't think they're actually bells. I don't know if it's a spoiler to say what they are. If he just told me, but I know what they are. They're not bells. Oh, leave that guy. Well, he wasn't doing anything. He was fucking d just offensive to the sight. Okay. Was he holding paper or an? Oh, it's, no, a, it's knife. a knife. Okay. I, was, I was seeing if I could counter him, okay, but I don't he's think an I asshole. can. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. You took this damage. guy though. He's, this he's gonna come at you, you with a fucking wagon wheel. Teaches you parrying. He's like, oh, you want to learn about stagecoaches, boy? <laughs> you know, did you guys... I, well, you you went to school in Ireland, but Tomar, in, in, like, fourth grade, did you spend a substantial part of fourth grade, like, learning about stagecoaches? 
No, was that no. was that normal fourth grade cl- curriculum? Not that I'm aware. I, I, had, I didn't. I had this fucking insane fourth grade teacher where if she existed in the modern day, she would get fired so fucking fast. Like any given day, you could have just taken a cell phone video of this woman and she would have immediately got fired. She was like this crotchety old lesbian that I think took some sort of like actual perverse joy in like torturing young boys. Like she was straight up like, you know the teacher from Invader Zim? <laughs> she was yeah, like yeah. straight up like that and she was like she would always like scream at the class and be like you're all pathetic fools and you have no futures and, <laughs> and yeah really? she was, yeah she was like a horrible fucking miserable bitch the first time i masturbated was when i found out she died but anyway <laughs> like no she she fucking she had like several obsessions one of them was stage coaches she made us spend i would say maybe like half the year learning about stage coaches and we had to fucking like make stagecoaches out of fucking popsicle sticks and shit like that. We made popsicle stick stagecoaches and learned all about stagecoaches. It was not even that era of history. Just Dude, specifically... sounds kind of like you're just shit at art, Specifically, so maybe. That too, but... It was specifically stagecoaches. Chris is thinking like, man, I wish I could have made pops. <laughs> Dude, I was learning about coaches. fucking politics in that class. It was fucking bullshit. <laughs> also, my teachers taught us like one-sided politics. They were bastards. Were they? Yeah, they're actual like pieces of shit. That's cool. No. <laughs> yeah. Also, this bitch would fucking like, God, if she ever didn't feel like teaching, like if she was ever fucking tired. She would just throw on this thing called Charlie Chan, which is like an old, I want to say like 1920s, 1930s, like detective serial where like it's like an ancient, like an old Chinese detective solving that's, mysteries. That's not Charlie Chan and the Chan clan, is it? No, I don't think so. But Charlie Chan is a white guy. Do you mean to tell me you've never been surprised in your life? Only one occasion, Inspector. One honorable wife announced arrival of 13th offspring. Speaking of Charlie Chan, uh... When I was young, I was like nine, eight. Mm-hmm. I had a guy in my class who had, he couldn't say or, he said W's instead of ors. And uh, I had Rugrats in Paris on PS1, and there's a mini game in that game called Chuck E. Chan. And I went into school and I told him about Chuck E. Chan, and then I, I didn't think about it anymore. And then the next day I came in, he was drawing like fucking hundreds of like versions of Chuck E. Chan, even though he had never played the game. He was drawing, he was drawing like Chuck E. Chan and the Chan brothers. That's fucking sick. Psychotic. He just got obsessed with this concept. Yeah, of Chucky e. Chan, and he was like drawing Chucky e. Chan with black hair, Chucky e. Chan with a chain, like all this other cool shit. <laughs> and he never even fucking. He didn't even know what the fucking game was about. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. I don't know, Tomar. This seems pretty anti-Christian to me. Yeah, this guy's clearly sad because you're not praying enough. You think that this is more of my. Uh... Zionist propaganda. I think so. Maybe so. <laughs> Maybe so. Dude, I love these cutscenes. I'll never tell. Yeah, they're real cool. I don't like cutscenes in games, but these are so interesting just to look at. Yeah, the art style is definitely the best thing this game has going for it. Yeah, just look at that big thing. Like, what the hell is that even? The Mia Culpa. Yeah, that's your sword, the Mia Culpa. Pray to the gold. <laughs> until you are old. <laughs> Pray to the gold until the dollar collapses. <laughs> Ew, dirty people. By the way, we didn't catch this, but these guys are called the kissers. And they just kiss folk when they, they kiss, get sick. They kiss lepers. Yeah, look at this guy. Look at him kissing. You are an idiot. I'm not fucking <laughs> lying to you. I would <laughs> never tell a lie, Lyle Chris. Lyle is actually telling the truth in this case. I can, I can verify. <laughs> this humble brotherhood of the kisses of wounds. Is this like a... Uh, what's her name? Uh, so what's, what's that bitch's name? Who's it's and Wuzzle? Uh, bitch Mary. What was her name? Virgin? No, virgin not, one? No, not the Virgin Mary. That Mary. Mary Magdalene? No, that's the prostitute. No, had, had well, a little how lamb. Many other Marys the are woman there? who set up a bunch of hospitals, but she didn't heal people. She just kind of let them lie there oh, and die. Oh, fucking Mother Teresa. Oh, why did they call her Mary for? Is that like a Mother Teresa like reference? Maybe. I don't know. Did Mother Teresa kiss? That's kind of hot. I don't know about I, the I kissing think that's part. just like a metaphor for how it useless it is. Yeah, a yeah, metaphor maybe. for being someone who claims to be caring for the sick by just standing around them and not doing anything useful. Well, you do have to like bring them like ingredients for ointments and salves and shit, but like what you actually bring them is like onions and olives, so maybe you're just making their fucking breath stinkier, I don't know. <laughs> Mother Teresa came to my primary school when I was very, very young, but I missed her by a year. But my principal was very proud of it. Wait, was she? I I thought she was like an older thing. Like I, she, she died uh, like around like r- right after that. 
Didn't she die during the 90s? I don't know. I thought she was like a, a think, historical figure. I, I think didn't she think she died of a broken heart. No, she didn't <laughs> like get an to, elephant. She didn't get to meet <laughs> little, Tomer, little Chris O'Neill. Look up Mother Teresa died. What, like when did she die? Check this out. Hey, you do. You turn him into a blood. <laughs> hey, man, why you turn that guy into a blood? <laughs> That's not cool, Holmes. 1997, yeah. she died. Oh wow. So, yeah. In Calcutta. That's that's the place where she didn't do shit. Yeah. Hey, why'd you die there? <laughs> you go somewhere else to die. <laughs> go <laughs> die somewhere more useful. Why are you killing all these fucking innocent little people? They They're, insulted my mother. They were swanging at him. You found the flaming ball. Yes. You're like collecting parts of a dude to make probably presumably a Frankenstein. I haven't actually That's done it yet. Cool. But like you keep finding like gallbladders and coccyxes and whatnot. I always wonder why they haven't made a more good modern Frankenstein movie. Yeah. It's a really fun story, but they always like overcomplicate it like Van Helsing and shit. Remember that piece of shit movie? Yeah, I don't I don't remember if it was like a piece of shit or not, but it is no dude. I, I like at the time I liked it when I was a little kid. I was like, that was cool. There was Frankenstein and Monster Jekyll and Doctor Heckle, and then I fucking <laughs> watched it. I watched it recently and it fucking sucked ass. I'm just gonna fucking use this because I uh, I always forget to. What's like? He's holding a deer. It's gonna hit you yeah. with a deer. And <laughs> now he's a puddle. That's a puddle. <laughs> a puddle of idiot. <laughs> Kick that over. Uh, you acquired my uvula. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> That's what I just grabbed. Did he really? Yeah, he got a uvula. I told you. Who's that beautiful woman on that stick? Oh, I already like killed her. You okay. can like smack, smack idiots when you walk by them with your with your sword, like these guys. No. Oh, I think I already killed those two. I don't know. I've been being a bully. That's There's... what Lyle calls people who have who who dare to have the gall to be strung up on a stick. Yeah, where do they get off thinking they're better than me? Anyone on the opposite side of the political spectrum? Am I right, Lyle? Just use the floor like everyone else. What is it fucking being on a stick, jackass? <laughs> man on a stick. Man on a stick. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Where? You really got the seeds of something there. They're gonna break the wings off if they keep doing that. Fucking angry Doug Trio up here throwing dicks at me! <laughs> Doug Trio. Yeah, take that, you fucking moron. I collect the circle of man. See, it's a, a capitate. Is that a baby in a cage? Yeah, you collect those. I don't know what they do, but That's you collect so them. That's so beautiful! See? It goes. It's, oh, like, it's a cherub. It's like a, it's more like a cherub, yeah. Well, uh, whatever, Mr. Distingo. Drawing all these distinctions with, I don't fucking want to deal with you. Dist well, how come every time I go over to your house, you talk about your cherub paintings, but, like, you don't drop it, and it's just, it gets weird? I don't know, dude! Whenever you go into Lyle's house, there's cherub this, cherub that. <laughs> And it just feels like you're in a room full of nude little boys. Yeah, okay, what's up with that? Why are, Why is it okay to just have, like, a fountain of, like, little boys peeing, and that's, like, a, a thing that can be in public? But when I get my dick out, it's public <laughs> indecency. <laughs> oh, you were going to hell. Yeah, I know. That's a good way. By the way, that's a good way to get there. <laughs> spikes in this game are instant. Yeah, death. they kill the shit out of you Those immediately. Those spikes at the bottom? Yeah. Hey, you know what I read recently? Hmm. That spikes in video games? Our lazy level design. Who said that? My daddy. Wow, that's that guy's pretty cool. Yeah, wow. It's bold to make a broad generalization like that about something that's been in games since games. I think Look, if that Tomer. guy was my older brother, I'd probably be like, dude, I'm glad you're my older brother. You're real cool. I, I can need... somewhat agree, though. You know why? Spikes? Yeah, wow. sure. No, the actual mechanic itself of dying when touching something, that's all a spike is. But it is better to, like, come up with something that is more original, like... Like, or something that suits the area. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about, like, especially in a game like this where you've got, like, a health bar and stuff like that. I don't know how I feel about something that just kills the shit out of you immediately. I think it's fine. Yeah? If, if it, if it, like, you know, like it's aesthetically one... tells you, better not fucking touch this or you're gonna die. It's one thing if it's, like, Mario or something. Uh... Um... Where it's, like, you die in two hits anyway. I don't know, it, it adds a little bit of tension to the platform. Right, I think you gotta really fuck up for a mechanic like that to be cool. I don't like it playing games without any tension. So if, if you're jumping over a spike and you fall on it and you don't die, it's like, oh. Whatever. I guess, yeah, it's not like they like come at you or something. They're yeah. just there, so you have plenty of time to sort of course correct and not fall into the spikes. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not like there's much of a punishment if you die, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, in, in this game, 
You yeah, they don't even take your like souls when you die in this game. I'm no, sure. but they they make you get less of them, and they also uh, they take your magic bar thing, and you can you can like pray to a guy to get it back, which costs souls. So they kind of do and don't. Oh, okay. Another guy with another deer. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, am I right? Deary me. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a little, uh, a little feller on top of that thing. Oh. What a dick. The little kid? Yeah, he <laughs> becomes part of the puddle too. I like that he becomes a puddle. I love walking around this wonderful crag. I love the word crag. Oh, I never actually got to the end of my story Is about my bitchy, guy? uh, fourth grade teacher. Oh, there's one more, there's one more part. What uh, happens uh, after it. she dies, Lyle? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Well, I, not after she dies. I guess I guess we're kind of pulling it back. Okay. It's an out of order story, I suppose. It's like uh, no. the movie uh, Memento. Okay. Yeah, like kind of halfway through the year, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't have a pencil, and she she fucking like got up all in my face and started like berating me because that's just what she did. She <laughs> would be, be like, "To be fair, Lyle, you go to school, you don't have a pen. You are a fucking listen, idiot." Okay, you are a stupid anyway, idiot. She got up in my face yeah. and she started being like. She, she, yeah, you're, you're never gonna have a future. Da, 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 da. And then she was like, I'll let you use my, te my pencil because I'm so nice, but you're not allowed to sharpen it and you're not allowed to. Burn. So I just, I fucking like broke the pencil in half and I like, I cut, I like screamed at her. I like cussed her out. I'm sure it wasn't like articulate, but I put together like, like an angry video game nerd kind of string of like, you fuck bitch hell bastard. Like I just fucking like threw like every swear word I knew at her. Yeah. And then, um, um, fucking the next year, uh, my fifth grade teacher, like, pulls me aside after class, like, the first day of the year, and, uh, she's like, hey, can I talk to you? I'm like, sure. And she, like, she pulls out, she's got the pencil in, like, a little baggie, like, it's evidence. This bitch had saved this pencil, like, up until the next school year. <laughs> to like give to my fifth grade teacher, which means she had to like look into it like after I got assigned my fifth grade teacher. Yeah. And she retired between those years. So this fucking psycho bitch like stuck around just to make sure that she could like fucking like snitch on me to my fifth grade teacher and maybe get me on her bad side. And you know what? My fifth grade teacher ended up really fucking liking me because I wasn't really that bad of a kid. Yeah. So, <laughs> fuck you. I you had a teacher like dumb, that. Dumb dead idiot. I had this big fat bitch of a teacher. She was like 528 pounds. And uh, she always wore sunglasses and she always looked really mad. And uh, she always used to say, Nobody say anything when I look away because I have eyes in the back of my head. And we're just like, <laughs> okay. And then she'd like look away and we'd be like, Bleh! and then she wouldn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> but she, she used to use her sunglass re sunglasses reflections to look behind her. And we all knew it, like, we all knew that because we're not stupid. But she was just a big fucking cunt. She was so fucking mean to people. She was just like, like, kids would be talking and laughing and she'd just be like, that's not funny. You're not funny. And it's like, you are a fucking mean old cunt. Yeah, there's those kinds of teachers that like... There's teachers who are teachers because they failed and they're bitter. That's like... Yeah. Those kinds of teachers should kill themselves. But there's, there's good teachers who actually want to help kids. There's the kind of teachers that like they probably would be cops if they weren't afraid of getting shot at. Yeah. There's some teachers who are teachers because it gives them power over easy targets. Yeah, exactly. Like just yeah. little things that they like if they really needed to, they could fucking rip your head off. And I've had a few of those. Yeah, no, they're they're fucking shitty. There's also the ones that just get broken. You know, they, yeah. they start off as like like young enthusiastic, like I love yeah. kids. I feel bad fucking, for those guys yeah. too. See, those those are better spikes. All the spikes should yeah. look like those things. Uh, oh, but, you, you, the way they look, you mean? Yeah, because it, it's not like a cliche, just spike. Like, that's got, like, it's character. Got personality, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, fuck teachers who are it like that. Like it makes me appreciate the teachers game. who actually care more. Yeah. I oh. mostly had good teachers growing up. I don't have any good shitty teacher stories. I'm sorry, guys. I had good role models. One of my a, teachers <laughs> hit me when I was a kid. Oh, yeah? yeah? None of my teachers hit me. I had a fucking teacher, like, dig her fingernails into my neck and, like, pull <laughs> me out of a chair. And I think that probably, like, defined what I'd be into sexually for the rest of my life. Oh, you're fucking you're one of those guys. <laughs> Call up my back! <laughs> it's fun. Okay. She fucking, she fucking, like, threw a fit. I think she, like, threw a chair at a kid, like, a couple years later. Wouldn't it be fucking cool to go back in time and talk to a teacher like that with with your adult Oh, like wisdom. have your adult brain and like a child body? I yeah. think about stuff like that all the time. 
uh, you could fucking get away with so much terrible shit yeah. if you did that. <laughs> Just pointing out, like, like, because, you know, kids can get away with pointing out, like, obvious shit that adults would be too polite to, like, say. Yeah. And you just uh, get this. Fucked, you get sorry. this free pass because you're because you're little. Yeah, because you're a chitlin. Yeah. I wonder how often. Uh, you know when you're like that age, or you know when kids are that age when they're like between toddlers and, and actually having like like their own thoughts and shit. Oh uh, yeah. They're they're just starting to become human for the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like when those kids question really like weird things that adults can't answer. Does it make adults question their own beliefs? What do you mean, question, like, like, God? You wish. Yeah, yeah with, with religious stuff especially, because kids have, like, really good points. Yeah, no, dude, I, like, when I was that age, I had good points and I never got answers for it, so it's like, must be weird. Oh, you can recover your little... Yeah, you get all your shit back. Okay. If you get back to it. So it's kind of like, it, it actually is probably, like, less consequences than Dark Souls. I don't know what I was trying to fucking get over here for. Is there, like, a hidden wall there? Or no, yeah, it I don't like... know what you were going for either. Go left. Yeah, no, I mean, that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh. I don't- I- I just don't know what those platforms are for. Yeah, weird. It looked like it was some kind of puzzle of sorts, but then it wasn't. Ooh, floaters. These More fucking pointy fellows, headmen. I'm quite tired uh, of them. Wouldn't they be like your bros? What, pointy headmen? Yeah. What, just because we look alike means we gotta think alike too, Tomar? Yeah, aren't you all related? Mmm. This game has a few of enemies like this where they just kind of float, and they get, like, stuck in the wall sometimes, and it makes me- it makes me angry. Okay, well, you can go home. Okay. This music's kind of beautiful. It might make me cry. If you fucking cry right now, I'm... I, I actually will get up and leave. I mean, I think I think I would too. Yeah. If I, want, I cry... I hey, you know what? You if you space. guys start crying, the first thing I would do would be, Are you okay? What's wrong? Are you okay? That's but you guys go, Oh, I'm leaving. Uh, this is too I, yeah, much for I would, me. I would, I would, no, I'm not fucking... I'm not emotionally prepared to just watch you cry. I'm sorry, dude. You're a dick. <laughs> I would ask what was wrong. If we're being totally honest, I would obviously ask what's wrong. I'd ask but what's wrong, and then when you walk out of the room, I'd look at Nile and be like, What the fuck is his problem? <laughs> you look at Nile? Real? Nile? I said Lyle. I heard you said Nile. Did I really? I yeah. think so. I've just been thinking about Nile so much ever since... The incident? Know, ever since... <laughs> the, the Murray incident. <laughs> the Murray incident. <laughs> Do you see how I fucking split that Pope like a wishbone? It's kind of normal. Yeah. I guess. Never mind, I don't know why I thought it was something special. Have you seen the picture of the Pope where he's got like his, his two feet pushed together and it's like covered in like olive oil? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Fucking he's wearing a diaper and he's crinkling his toes. Yeah, he's crinkling his olive oil toes Wait, into the diaper. what are you guys yeah. about? Is, you're talking about the current Pope? Yeah. Okay. And if you and zoom into the reflection of his eyes, you see Tomar taking the picture. <laughs> oh wait, you should unlock that thing above. It looked like there was a Good shirt. Good call, cut. Tomar. Pick up the red candle. What is that red it's a candle? small bead of red wax. Red wax is so beautiful. I love red wax. I, I should probably be equipping these. Oh, um, okay, Lyle, if you say so, man. It's like the, uh, the equivalent to, like, the charms in Hollow Knight, if you ever played that. Yeah, I don't play games for babies, so... Whatever, dude. Well, luckily, this is a big, strong game for tough adults. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> this is Mr. Storman. Hey. Let us be captives of the miracle, penitent one. He sounds like salad fingers. <laughs> Little. Do not be surprised to find this man. Does sound like here. salad fingers? This yeah, kinda. Candelaria. I refuse to call you that. I'm not talking to you anymore. But I'll buy. I'll buy the silly key. For four hundred. Yeah. Whatever that currency is called. Watching Salad Fingers what for the first time was like pure magic. I just thought it was weird. <laughs> I was like, this is so fucking cool. I was actually introduced to Salad Fingers like outside of getting into new grounds. Like just some roommate of mine was obsessed with it. My dad even fucking loved it and he doesn't like anything. Really? Yeah. Why? Just because it was weird? My dad likes really random weird shit. Like he loves Napoleon Dynamite and he loves Salad Fingers. <laughs> I fucking hate that movie. <laughs> I love Napoleon I Dynamite. Lo I like Napoleon I, Dynamite. I watched that movie clear out a theater of people. It was so weird. Wait, really? Yes. Oh my I, god. Like Whoa. everyone that was in the theater like left. There was like... <laughs> And 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 like, when I first found that movie, I like, I, it was probably a pirated copy. But oh, dude! I watched it like 
like Ugh. 15 times. I probably should have fucking like went back and healed myself before this. Dude, but, I love that fucking movie. No, like when I went and saw it in the theater, like it started with like a packed theater and ended there were like us and maybe like three more people in the theater. Cause it was like, I think it was kind of like infectious. Cause once Whoa. people, once people started walking out, everyone else was like, yeah, if that guy's walking out, maybe I should walk out. <laughs> and so like, it just completely like the theater was fucking empty. And so like every, and me and everyone that I went to, to the movie with hated it. And then I went to school and everyone was like fucking quoting it and talking about how funny it was. It was like fucking like Twilight Zone that shit. That is weird. Yeah. That is very, uh, w oh, damn nice. Woo! It is a very split movie, you either love it or you hate it. Yeah, it's weird because I like when when we watch like cringe videos and shit and there are people like that, I like it because it's like a real person, but when it's like a fictional guy, I don't know, there's something about it that doesn't work for me. Dude, it's also, you know what, uh, like, we have these little parties where, where we'll put on cringe and we'll just enjoy cringe at parties and shit, and it, it is weird when like, a new person is there, and you're like sussing out, like, do they just fucking hate what we're watching? Because <laughs> some people can't actually handle it. Yeah, we've we've found some pretty fucking magical ones, that's for sure. Just, there it is. There it yeah, is. There oh, we, there you go. I got to it. Yeah. <gasps> La, why why did you do that? I don't man? know. I don't know why my fucking brain farted and thought I got like invincibility frames there or something. This Fuck. looks hard, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. Well, I there's a save point like right behind it, so. Oh. Ah, uh, oh. fuck me. I don't want <sighs> Fine. <laughs> fine? I guess that's fine. What do these do again? You, uh, got, you got the piss form of yeah. Fernandez. I, I actually don't know what those do. They're, you take them to a room and it like, fucking like, builds a bear and then... Builds a bear workshop. Yeah, basically, like, there's a bunch of cages and you put organs in it. I think you're putting together some kind of like, Frankenstein of a person, place, or thing, but I, I don't know why. Oh, Ooh. so this is cool. This is like the the warp points. The mirror. So bears. you can go back to you can go back to this place. Grab well, this. Wow. I love that it has fingers. Yes. And the fingers are little and the people. Fingers are, yeah, the fingers are little men. Like one of those YouTube algorithm Indian animations. Daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, on the that was taken over for a while. <laughs> That's true. You Is that remember? a thing where people have men fingers? Yeah, yeah, daddy finger, mommy finger. I guess I don't. Yeah, know I those. actually um my my show on Destructoid pregame discharge. I was gonna call it baby fingers, <laughs> and uh, one of the reasons that I didn't was because uh, all the recommended videos were those because they're called like the finger family or something. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was the fun fact. That's one of the reasons I didn't stick with baby fingers because I thought it was pretty funny. But uh, yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to fucking have that everywhere. The banquet of time, a bouquet of time. With your contribution, don't say bouquet. The say <laughs> banquet. It's not a banquet. It's a I bouquet. got some linens. Line, line and cloth. Now I can take the linens to this guy, and he'll do something to it. I don't want to brag, but that's definitely Wexford. Well, that's Wexford. <laughs> oh, that's Wexford. <laughs> oh yes. The suspended people room. This is the moon. Is this what everybody looked like while the miracle was happening? It's Dan Snyder himself and his <laughs> subjects. You think that's you think that's Jesus Dan Snyder? <laughs> Which one's Dan? The big one. Probably the one the one giving it the massage, the one under uh, it. Oh. That's a giant Nickelodeon star. <laughs> oh yeah, I can give him this, and then he does something to it, and I don't know what it does or why. In the name of the... A there. tool. He gave you a shroud. Is that equipable? Yes. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, this is like the... A thing. What does it do? Uh, mean... It lets you, like, talk to dead bodies. Oh, cool. Can you talk to all the people on spikes now? No, just, like, there. there's, like, special corpses just that... very specific dead bodies. Yeah, now. that have, have a lot to say. Sometimes they gotta speak their truth, Tomar. Do you think there's a band called every, like, single word in the English vocabulary by now? Like, uh, every noun? I think so. Probably. Uh, ain't no bitch. Oh! This guy's cool. This is a ten pie dad. Yeah. Not one of your fucking meager eight or nine pie dads. No, this is like a full ten pie dad. The, the legit ten pie dad. So, maybe, uh, back off? Oh! Ow. Why'd you <laughs> gobble like a turkey? 
That's what I do when I get excited. <laughs> it's fun. You kind of fucking cheesed you, dude. All right, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to fucking just keep throwing myself at this till I die? You want me to grab this bitch's help, or do you want me to, uh... Do you want me to go somewhere else? You viewers at home decide now. <laughs> We're gonna just wait here and play some dramatic music. You're gonna press one... Okay, no. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys actually want me to do? What? Just get her help, I don't mind. Okay, yeah. We're getting the help because we're dumb. <laughs> Uh, penitent one, my clunge frothens at the thought of assistance. <laughs> Frothen. <laughs> my big pendulous clitoris. Pendulous. Yeah. Like a pendulum. Like a pendulette. Yeah. The magic man. <laughs> <laughs> the pendulette that's your, that's swinging back. Pendulette that's voice. him swinging back and forward like a pendulum. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa! This is my partner, Teller. <laughs> I can't do him at all. <laughs> Me neither. He does have a very low voice, though. He's got a very deep... yeah. I, I can't uh, do it. I feel it. like I got this guy's attention. No, never mind. No, oh, you uh, suck, um, dude. I heard a rumor that Pen Gillette doesn't use Gillette because he hates Gillette. Wow, what a rumor. <laughs> Everyone knows the government wants you to fucking buy a bunch of expensive razors. <laughs> He'll get so upset. <laughs> He'll be called Pen Upset. Come on, Lyle! I, yeah! I really didn't need her here. All she did was watch. Uh, but that's okay. Do you yeah, feel good on your own? Bummer. If not, here's an achievement to make you feel good. <laughs> do you feel better now? Yeah, I really do. That little tiny graphic that popped up on screen made you feel good? Yeah, some help you were. Whatever. She didn't even show me her butthole. Look! Ew! It's the iconic sleeping man. <laughs> Why are so many people so big? It's Sleopold, the third. <laughs> <laughs> Sleopold? Dude, that's, uh, that is a badly drawn ocean wave. It's not an ocean wave, it's a... <laughs> that is an ocean wave full of children having fun. That's the aggro crag. <laughs> Ew, holy fuck, dude! You must tell me, Kawabunga, <laughs> to ride my ocean wave. <laughs> the golden god came on me! <laughs> Yeah. Oscar of the Oscars gave me a big <laughs> ropey chalky load. That is a cool little design. I yeah. like it. I like him. <laughs> you say visage, dude? Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Visage, dude. It's visage. Visage. I got the holy wound of attrition. It's my new favorite word for vagina. Oh, I thought it was a holy wand. That would have been better. Mercy dreams. Has anyone made the observation that this kind of reminds me of Dark Souls? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what are you talking about? Like how? Never mind. I think I was wrong. Like how's it? No, no, no. How does it remind you of Dark Souls? It doesn't remind me. I was just wondering if it reminded yeah, sure, someone okay, else. Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Whatever, dude. I yeah, suppose really cool. I'll bite. Has anyone else <laughs> considered that maybe this is kind of like Metroid? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Again, how how so? What, what, what are you I mean, I didn't. I don't think so. What are, you what are you trying to say? I don't think so. Yeah. All right. Big guy. <laughs> and Tomer is blacklisted from the industry. <laughs> <laughs> the games criticisms industry. <laughs> You're blacklisted from the Let's Play industry. The fa the greatly fastly dying industry of Let's Players. I really don't want to hear what that guy has to say to me, so I'm not going to listen. Let's Players have it hard, man. That's what he's saying. <laughs> hey man, let's players are just people too. The just algorithm, try. man. The algorithm. Sometimes you've got to play video games for hours. <laughs> <laughs> so hard me. job, man. I mean, working in sewers, that's kind of bad, but. I'm quite overcome with immense proportions of woe. <laughs> Ew, you smashed the pee hole. I did. Is that pee? It all looks like urine to me. So this is the sewer, right? Oh my god. Oh, oh, sorry for interrupting. Ooh. 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 Sorry to disturb you, sir. Oh, let Please me suck, suck on those. Yes. <laughs> or ma'am. I'm kind, kind of, of a babe. Kind of in love. Yeah. Please censor out those Ooh. big knives. <laughs> <laughs> and her ridiculous hat. She's making like this face. She's got this, Ooh. this like, woo mouth. Yeah. yeah. She, she's, why does she look so surprised? <laughs> like, blow up doll. Ah, oh, they blurred the pixels. Don't do that. Pixels don't blur. Commit to your art style, you dips. Max, wow. remember how it has you You don't have an alpha channel. That's nothing to do with alpha, you fucking moron. I you mean, stupid, uneducated. 
four max. Fuck you, dude. Wouldn't you use alpha to do blur? Whatever. Fuck, what I use alpha to do whatever, everything, Tomar. Whatever. Because I am an instrument That's of death. That's depth of field, you stupid. Have you ever seen depth of field properly done in a pixelated game? I didn't um, think so. Uh, well, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Now someone's gonna send me a picture of it on Twitter, and I'm gonna go, I don't care, it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tomar. I can't stand Chris's opinion on depth of field and pixel art. You know, you could shorten that to DOF. People will know what you're talking about. Yeah, just call it DOF, bro. Yeah, just say DOF. Like a normal person. Jesus. What do you uh, think I am? He's stinky. I'm he's fucking He's got a little really. Velda ring with you. <gasps> That's a one-hit kill if it hits you, by the oh, way. Oh, that's lame. Yes. That's stupid. There's, like, a guy over here that, like, makes him come. <laughs> you asshole! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> makes him come. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Uh, watch out for that rat. Okay, we're good. I'm quite tired of it. Uh, have I been through here before? Am I going in a big fucking circle? I don't Oracle remember you fighting any of these guys since you got He's to this area. Going in a Steve oh. circle? No, I haven't. Okay. You're doing really good, love. Thanks. Oh shit. Can you kill that guy? Oh, God forbid. Yeah, no, and he's just gonna keep showing up and fucking talking shit. That feels very gamey that he doesn't kill the other guy. Fucking Mr. Bell's palsy over here. Tomar. Yes. Do you think in like, maybe like 400 years, all history of holy wars will have been vanished for a while? Because humans will have lived in peace and harmony? And then no. they'll find the word holy wars and they'll think that they were wars inside of big holes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like World War One. Yeah. Every, hey, yeah, that's true. You know, yeah, th there were wars inside of big holes. We called them trenches. Yes. <laughs> but now we <laughs> use the word trench on coats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch out. Ew. There are little slimy skags. I'm so glad games are finally using sewage as an enemy. Sewage is really the only true enemy of man. True, yeah. You have a point. Tomar typically makes pretty good points. And Except sewage. when he's wrong. Yeah, and sewage. <laughs> I am the number one creator of sewage in my <laughs> lot. I've kind of basically revolutionized the amount of poop and <laughs> sewage. Before it was like, maybe like a, a soft 60, now it's a good 75. Tomer, you're <laughs> fucking gross, dude. I didn't say those words. <laughs> you implied it. Too Every loud. day I make heaving mounds. I, <laughs> <laughs> I like quoting Jurassic Park while I slap my big mound of shit and I say, what a big pile of shit. <laughs> Like I slap it, like yeah. slapping the top of a used car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it makes a nice pat sound. Like <laughs> That's really satisfying to think about. <laughs> yeah, a nice big smooth pile of shit. Just being pat down. Into like a ball. So that Tomar can like roll it to find a mate. I've, I've, I've said that, this. Is that a dung beetle reference? It was a dung beetle reference and it was also a reference to your horrible, horrible mistake. When I was younger, uh, my dad owns a candy shop, and uh, there's these candies called Chewits, and they're real uh, gummy, chewy things. And uh, wh when I, one cool. time I was at my dad's candy shop in his office, and uh, I was like, Dad, can I have some Chewits? And he was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And then I grabbed like a, a fuck ton of Chewits, because I was a bastard, and I rolled them all up into a huge ball of Chewits, <laughs> and, and it was... Like upstairs in his in, in his like office, right outside his office, is like kind of an attic-y kind of like dusty area. So the chew it ball was like covered in dust, and I, I like I was I walked into his office. And I'm like, Dad, look at this, look what I made, and he fucking screamed at me. And he's so fucking mad. He's like, You fucking got you fucking did, and I was like, like, like that's disgusting. Get rid of that. And I was like, Jesus, it was, this, it was like the stupidest. Th it was like a huge fucking like ball of chew it's. <laughs> Did you like keep it around or no? He made me throw it away. Oh, that reminds me of a story when I was real little, and like I was old enough. I was roll. I I like rolled up like a piece of gum into this like I I'd say it was a friend of mine, 
it was just like a neighbor's kid yeah. who was even younger than me, and I was like rolling up gum in his hair and I'd be like, "Look, it makes a little ball." <laughs> and I got in so much trouble. Oh my god! When we when that's... we finally like went back to our parents and he had all this fucking gum stuck in his hair. They that's had, pretty bad. They had to like cut a bunch of his hair. <laughs> that's some shit. You you should like explain to kids before you give it to them. Yeah. Isn't there a trick to getting it out? Getting gum out of it? Maybe. I'm sure that you could find fucking all the- You use lemon and canola! Yeah, some, you something fucking... with oatmeal and- turns. Yeah, this, this sounds- sounds about right. Apple cider Did that kid vinegar. just shave his head, though? I think- I don't think they shaved it, but I think they had to cut it down really short. It's kinda cool. You got albero. Yeah, so this is- this is where you go to, like, make the feller. Ooh. Yeah, you just kinda put his bits in these, uh... Oh, damn. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Th that's a fun mechanic. I kind of like it. It's just a collection screen. I don't know what's so great about it. I just Omar, like the idea of chill the fuck out you're for like building one second. A friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're back here. Because no one else likes you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, Have you always wanted a golem all your own? Maybe. Do you believe Maybe that's what you're building, a golem. That'd be that's pretty cool. The, that's what well, the no, Jews this is, built. this is Catholicism, not not your. But no, I, I would never, I would never uh, assemble a golem. If I'm being tricked into doing that, I need to know immediately, because I would be really angry. Just because Jewish? Huh? No, not just be. No, mm -hmm. not at all. I just don't like fucking large lumbering familiars. Check this guy out. What a dope. <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> he died so fast. <laughs> He was probably sitting there for like 400 years, and then that one little slash ended it all. Fuck you, idiot. The golden calf has fallen. Do you think he represents the golden calf? I think he fucking represents testing my goddamn patience. Bitch. Bitch. It's a new move I just That's got. a cool little move. Yeah, I just learned it. I learned it all on my own. Well, the big statue helped, but... Fuck you. I will never go down there, not in a million years. Uh, Damn it! And no one can rely on you anymore. Me? Ah! Holy fuck it! Leave shit. me alone! Look at that big guy. Is that his head? He looked like a like a broken bell or something. Yeah. They like run into the walls, and if you're stuck to the walls, it'll knock you over. I think is what it was trying to teach me there, but I already knew it. Okay. I like those screams. Oh no! Don't worry, You're Tomar. Almost fucking died! This oh guy, my god! This guy's like practically two guys. Now he is two guys. You ever thought of that? No. Tomar, he's a halfling. That's what those are. Oh fuck. Ooh, new boss. Oh my god, that's Alucard. That is the one winged angel. <laughs> Sephiroth. <laughs> Never mind the second wing, of course. Who is this, this fellow? This guy doesn't even uh, have a, a health bar. He's a piece of shit. Who the fuck does he think he is? Uh, oh, I think God. it's a she, but yeah. Oh, whoa! I beat her! Ooh! Like you it can, was uh, nothing. Yeah, you can- you can lose to her, and then she doesn't come back here. I don't know what that just gave me. It looks like it's somebody's, uh, what do you call it? A prolapse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that word again? Prolapse. But no, like, you can lose to her, and then you come back here, and she doesn't show up again. Ooh. It didn't look like she died there, did it? Nah, she ran like a... Yeah, because she, she does come back later in the game. Ha, <laughs> what's he hanging off of his ass? <laughs> what a mook. My name is Redento. Redento. Okay, turn this game off, dude. This sucks. Yeah, I'm fucking tired. Also, his most notable <laughs> oh, quality... He, he's like, ah, I'm pretty barefoot. Sorry about that. It's like, look at you. Look at the rest of you. <laughs> yeah, you're an asshole. <laughs> That's like the least of your worries, bub. Check this out. Ah! You're an Anor Jondo. <laughs> Why did that fucking jar scream at you? Because <laughs> it was mad, probably, about something I said at some point. I run my mouth a lot. I like these little heads. Why can't you walk on the chains? Shit! It is oh kind my god. It is kind of unrealistic. Hey, can you, like, fucking leave me alone? Do those spells hurt you? If the scream hits oh. you. Alright. Alright. I'm I'm fucking mad. Use your powers. Fuck you. Bitch. Okay. 
Hey, good job, Lyle. Very good. Thank you, Chris. You found the scapula. That's my favorite part of a woman. <laughs> yeah. So once again, the fucking Bellarino is ruining it for everyone. So he was the one causing them to resonate, huh? Yeah. Now, now they don't. You could just say scream, Tomer. You have to use your big words, dude. It's a three-syllable word, Chris. It's pretty basic. Pretty basic human English. How There's... often do you use the word resonate, though? Really? I use it all the time. Okay, fine. That's actually psychotic. That's how I resonate with my audience. Ah! <laughs> Pulls on your beard, looks you in the eye. That's pretty good. <laughs> Picks egg out of your beard. What the hell is this? <laughs> you still role playing with my beard? <laughs> Scrambles egg in Tomar's beard. My beard winks. <laughs> uh, Yummy breakfast. Pulls back. Tries to see eye and beard. <laughs> Fails. Eye blinks. <laughs> ah, now I see it. Puts carrot in eye, blinding you <laughs> yeah. forever. Ah, oh, Chris! My beard eye. Tomar, we both know you can act a little better than that. Ah, oh, Chris! <laughs> that was better. <laughs> it was the same. That was 0.01% better. <laughs> Let's let role play, Lyle. Okay, what's, what's going on? Remove shirt. Alright, fucking have at it, buddy. Uh, looks at nipples. Kind of not impressed. Okay. And removes pants. How about this one? How's, was that doing anything for you? Looks at belly button. Hmm. Getting little, better. Little what lower. else you got? Uh, fucking removes Tomar's beard, puts Tomar's beard over crotch. Gasps uh. at loss of beard. I eye on Tomar's <laughs> beard opens yet again. Carrot now, now exfoliated from eye. So, wait, I'm imagining this. You're standing there ass naked with a beard over your penis and the carrot's coming out where your penis should be. That's disgusting. Why would you imagine that? <laughs>